Monday night, college basketball action, Big 12 conference play. This is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. Going to take a look at the West Virginia Mountaineers versus the Kansas State Wildcats at Bramwich Coliseum in Manhattan. Wildcats open up as 10.5 point home favorites in the market. That number is held steady across the board, while the total has made the real move from 126 to 127 in the betting market. When you look at the Mountaineers, they've won four of their last five games, but not a lot of world beaters when looking at their past performances over those five contests and picking up those victories. Two wins over Texas Tech, a victory over Texas and TCU, their only loss in that span, an 80-60 setback to the Baylor Bears as eight-point road underdogs, definitely on a different tier than the likes of Texas Tech, Texas, and TCU, the Baylor Bears. Bob Huggins returns to Manhattan, Kansas. Of course, he compiled a 23-12 record when coaching this program, Kansas State, in 2006. That started a school record, seven consecutive 21 seasons, which actually was cashed in with Kansas State's last win against Baylor over the weekend. 20 wins versus ranked foes. Huggins has led the Mountaineers program, eight of those coming against top 10 opponents. Of course, Kansas State landing at 10 or 11, whatever poll you're going to look at in terms of national rankings. Uh, the Mountaineers have really been trying to figure out what their rotation is going to be. They lost a lot of talent from last year's team. 12 different players have started, and no player averages double figures in scoring. 0-2 ATS has road underdogs of 9.5 to 12 points this season, an 80-66 loss to Oklahoma State, and an 84-50 blowout defeat to the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And also, if you're looking to play the revenge factor in this game, a lot of college basketball handicappers love to mention that in the second game of a season series, especially conference play, obviously. 1-7 ATS when revenging a same season loss the last two plus seasons. When you look at Kansas State, they've been really flying under the radar in my opinion, and I think in terms of national opinion. Uh, they are 5-1 and one in their last six games. Their only setback in that span, a, a loss at Kansas, uh, a game that we featured here on Across the Board last week, and I picked the Kansas Jayhawks in that game, but I intend that I expect this team to continue covering the spread at home. They've covered five of the last six games at Bramwich Coliseum. They're in a three-way uh, tie for first place in the Big 12 Conference standings right now. And they've really done a lot of their best work in the month of February over the last five seasons. And they have a vet veteran-laden roster, a lot of players coming back. Of course, a lot of that success in this month comes under the direction of Frank Martin, who is now at South Carolina. But Bruce Weber has really grabbed hold of this team and really made it his own after being fired from Illinois. Uh, since Big 12 play opened, this team's had really good offensive success. They lead the entire conference, uh, all the members in conference, in shooting 44.9% in conference play, including 39.4% from beyond the arc. So you think defense, defense, defense with this program, but they are shooting at a higher percentage than any team in conference play. Uh, I'm not really worried about a backdoor cover in this situation. Uh, I think that's the only way that West Virginia would even cover this game, but both teams shoot under 70% from the free throw line, and the Mountaineers have been absolutely atrocious in this category the last few games. Huggins, definitely not pleased with his team's success from the charity strike this year. That's why I feel confident laying this number. I think it's a fair number, especially with how West Virginia has won four of the last five games. So my official pick is Kansas State, minus 10.5 against the West Virginia Mountaineers, on Monday night. This has been another edition of Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. And for any further information on this game or any other on Monday night's board, you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.